Hi, in this video, you'll learn how to stream pre-recorded videos on YouTube in a live streaming format. This will allow you to interact with your audience in real time, even if you can't be online during the live stream. We're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up such a stream using the Gyre Continuous Streaming Service. This approach will help you provide a stream of content for your viewers and increase their engagement. First, you need to create a stream in YouTube Studio. To do this, click the Create button in the upper right corner and select Go Live. Next, click Schedule a Stream. In the window that opens, you need to configure all the parameters of the future live stream. Enter the title of the stream. This is what viewers will see on YouTube. Add a description. In the menu for choosing a streaming method, select the option Streaming Software. Select a content category and upload a cover image to make your stream more attractive. After that, set up management rights, add tags for better search results, and specify the audience for which the stream is intended. The next step is to set up monetization. Select the ad formats you want to use and enable them to be displayed during the stream. In the customization section, set up comments and ratings, as well as determine whether viewers can be redirected after the stream is over. If you're interested in how to do this, we have a separate video on this. You can find it in the info card. Once you've made all the settings, click Next. In the Visibility section, select the Public option. Click Done, and you'll be taken to the YouTube Live Control Room. Now you're in the Live Settings tab, find the Stream Key field and copy it. Enable the Auto Start and Auto Stop features. This is very important, so that the stream starts as soon as it is launched in Gyre. The next step is to create a live stream in Gyre. To do this, you need to create an account and upload the files you need to stream to the storage. Please note that YouTube has recommended settings for videos used in live streams. Here they are. Failure to follow these recommendations may result in interruptions or buffering of the stream. That's why you should check and optimize your video files. For your convenience, Jar has a video converter that will check and adapt your files. To do this, open storage, find the file you need, click on the three dots next to it, and select optimization from the menu. In the new window, you will see the future parameters of the optimized video file and can choose the required frame rate, 30 or 60 frames per second. Read the conversion conditions, check the box, and click Start Optimization. The optimization process takes some time, and while it's in progress, you won't be able to do anything else with the file. After the conversion is complete, the new file will appear in storage next to the original, with the name starting with the prefix gyre. You can also choose to automatically delete the original video after optimization in Video Converter to avoid duplicate files. It's optional, but it saves space and helps keep your storage organized. Optimization is complete. Let's move on. To create and configure a stream, go to the Live Streams tab and click the Add Stream button. Enter the name of the future stream. Only you will see this name. Select the YouTube platform. Now you need to get a stream key and stream ID. Return to YouTube Studio and your stream settings. Copy the stream key and paste it into the appropriate field in Gyre. Next, copy the link to the stream located at the top of the page and paste it into the stream ID field in Gyre. After that, the system will automatically detect the desired stream. Click the next button to go to the video tab. In the list, select the prepared videos that you plan to use for streaming. After that, click save and close. Do not start the stream at the stage. Now you need to set up the auto start and end of the upcoming stream. Go to the stream scheduler tab and click the schedule stream button. Select a pre-created stream from the drop-down list and enter the name of the stream scheduler event. Set the start and end time of the broadcast and click save. You're done. Your stream is scheduled. You can also launch a 24 seven live stream with Gyre and get several important benefits. The first key advantage is the availability of content at any time. A 24-7 stream has no fixed start and end time. This means that people from different regions and time zones can join the viewing at a convenient time. You're on the air non-stop and reach a much wider audience. The second important advantage is that viewers can join the 24-7 live stream at different times, and each such YouTube session will be summed up in the total viewing time. This will increase the average view duration on the channel and the total watch time. As a result, your videos will reach a wider audience, increasing the overall popularity of your channel and attracting more viewers and subscribers. Thanks to these factors, 24-7 streams not only provide a steady stream of views, but also create a long-term effect for channel promotion. The longer the watch time, the more YouTube promotes your content in recommendations. And the more recommendations, the more views and, consequently, 
the higher watch time. Pre-recorded content streams are a live format that extends the reach of your channel even without a mediocre presence in the frame. If your content has a serial structure, it can be transformed into a 24-7 stream. With Jire, you can easily launch a live stream based on pre-recorded content. 24-7 streaming is the perfect way to keep your channel active and increase your reach. If you want to start your own pre-recorded stream, try Jire for free for seven days and see how easy it is. And if you want even more reach, test the 24-7 streaming format and see the results for yourself. By the way, here are several real-life case studies from our clients. For more detailed insights, check out our blog. The link will be in the description below the video. The more interactions you have, the more YouTube promotes useful content for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of new guides and recommendations.